Hello, my name is John, and I want to say thanks for taking the time. I just received in the mail my new Verbus Foundation Oscillator, and it's right there. Now, I kind of have this extensive thing. You might ask, why am I going from the Verbus to the uh, GeForce Tonus, uh, I'm sorry, the GeForce 4023 VCF, and not into the amp and tone controller? Well, it's because everybody does that. I mean, it's simple. Okay, we can do that. Sure. So anyways, so I was very intrigued by this module, and I'm going to set this right here. Maybe I can move my little thing. There we go. Ah, now you can see what's happening. And there we go. Now you can actually see what's happening. Of course, now it's in my way, and I can't really see what's happening. I can't do anything, but we'll pretend. So anyways, I wanted to talk about this module for a little bit. I just got in the mail, and I just racked it, and I wanted to share my first initial thoughts with this guy. So first thing that I have noticed is that like all Verbus modules with the Pittsburgh modular uh, rack, the uh, as you can see right in there, which is fantastic, by the way, wonderful quality. Sometimes Verbus modules are a little bit quirky with it. Uh, one of which is that uh, unlike most everything else where the tone, I mean, excuse me, the pitch can be centered pretty nicely and you have a little wiggle room. This sounds like it does kind of what the complex oscillator did for me, which was just not track as well as I'd hope. That's my first contention. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so I do love Verbus modules. Kind of have a love-hate relationship with them, but that's okay because you know why? It sometimes actually makes it challenging and fun. Not that sometimes a little bit more flexibility wouldn't be better, but anyways. This is what I was talking about. If you notice right here, this is halfway, excuse me, this is like about three quarter, a quarter of the way from zero, okay? And this guy right here is right in the middle. So now we're going to use just the straight up, let me just switch that, pulse, okay? And we are so far out of the audio range, it's not even funny. And that's all the way up. Now, the only reason I take note of this is because even when we're halfway, oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's terrible. Even at the halfway mark for most of my no modules that I have, That's the only module that does that. The harmonic oscillator does not do that. The Pittsburgh Lifeforms uh, primary oscillators do not do that. No module that I have ever owned does this, except for two of them. The Verbus complex oscillator, which sounds remarkably great. Let me, uh, hold on, let me kill this. The Verbus complex oscillator does that, and this does that. That to me is kind of unfortunate because it makes it a little bit quirky to use and a little frustrating, but that's okay. So anyway, so let's talk, uh, mine is that feature. Mine is that little quirk. This is a really neat sounding module. And like I said, I've only had it racked for about maybe 20 or 30 minutes now. It's warmed up, it's nice, ready to go. I'm going into the, uh, the G-Storm Electro uh, 4023 VCF into a tip top audio VCA which is actually a very nice flexible VCA in a, a small footprint. It is being clocked with my Akai Force, which unfortunately does not get enough love. A lot of people don't like it. I actually really do like it. And it's being sequenced with the Verbus Multi-Stage. Uh, the Verbus Multi-Stage. And at some point or another, I'm going to get another sequence selector whenever they make one. So let's talk about what this guy does. At first, I was a little confused about some of the functions. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Can I, can I zoom? I don't know. I can't zoom. Ah, that's all right. At first, I was confused about some of the functions. And one of the functions was, these guys are pretty straightforward right here. Okay, you know, you got the little pink wire going in there. Okay, it's a pulse wave. All right, we can do that. And, and a nice little triangle wave. Nice and harmonic, very, very nice 
timbers coming out of it. But this guy was a little bit confusing, and I couldn't really figure out by the descriptions what it was actually doing. And now I do. Now that I've actually had that, this this guy is actually, th this little section right here is really rad. So what you got? Let's take this out. We're going to go into from there. Okay. And what it does, it actually kind of folds from that triangle into that spike. And then you go from here, tri uh, triangle into pulse. And then from here, triangle into saw. Which that was very cool. I did not really understand that from all the descriptions. That's why I'm talking about this right now is because I wanted to show this to you guys. Furthermore, going back to these for a moment, if you do this, okay, into that, and then you twist this, there's that kind of wave folder richness control. Whoops. And then we'll do that here. Nothing happens. What? But. Oh, that's neat. Almost want to say, come to daddy. So anyways, so this is a very neat module. Like, this is kind of interesting. And it's a little bit interesting because not not every mo There's a very few modules that really kind of go to the places that Verbus modules do. And I thought this was kind of cool. But anyways, I was jamming on this, and I'm like, you know what? There's not enough people jamming around on this. So I decided to make a little jam, pet, uh, putzing around, having a little bit of fun with it, see what I'd come up with. So anyways, I kind of went through the base functions. Like I said, I'm going through this. I didn't want to go through uh, the Ampitone because that's kind of, everybody does that. But for the most part, it's generically a Verbis style setup. So I am going to go through the, uh, the multi-stage. So we'll go through that one too as well. So anyways, kind of make this a little bit more interesting. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm also doing something interesting. I'm using an envelope right here on the richness. And that does something really cool. Hit it manually. And by the way, I am a big fan of the Roland 540. The envelope LFO is such a nice envelope. All right, there we go. Got that? Cool. I hope you enjoy.
So there you have it. The Verbus Foundation Oscillator. That is a very cool oscillator. I, I really have to say I appreciate that. Thank you for uh, Dan and Trent over at Detroit Modular because their shipping is incredibly fast, especially in the uh, these perilous times in which we live in. Anyways, also thanks to Mark Verbus for making such an incredible module. Nobody paid me. This is just something I love to do because it's fun. And I've learned so much off of so many people that I figured I'd you know throw some stuff out there and maybe somebody will learn something off of me. So, hey, that'd be exciting. Anyways, uh, that's all I have. That's all I wanted to share today. I just was really impressed with how this sounds. I was like, wow, so much is in this module. This needs to be shared. So... Anyways, thank you very much. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's a fantastic day where I'm at. It's a very beautiful out. And uh, good day. God bless. And uh, until next time.